Hello there, my name is Tritemare, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'd like to do a series that reveals a little bit more about myself to you guys. I know that we spend a lot of time together on the stream, but I think it's essential to learn about each other mutually, and I'd like to put this information up on here because it's been asked on stream before. So, without further ado, I'm going to cover my top five favorite bands and suggest one song by that band to you. Let's do it, baby, yeah! Alright, the first band I'd like to talk about is the closest to my heart and large and by far my favorite band. This is Modest Mouse. Now, a lot of you have, have heard of Modest Mouse on the radio from their hit single, Float On, that was really popular a couple years back. And that's really the only album that people listened to was good news for people who love bad news. Arguably one of their worst albums. The things that drew me to Modest Mouse are that they were really underproduced, like their lead singer was in, singing in a shower on several albums, literally just had a microphone singing in a shower, and it had a really good low fidelity, awesome garage taste to it. Um, but needless to say, Isaac Brock is a great lyricist. You won't find a lyricist like Isaac Brock. He, he will be looked back on as one of uh, the best lyricists of our time, I think and it shows through. The thing that I like about his lyrics is they don't really make sense at first glance, and one of the lines in this song actually changed my life. Um, it's odd to say that it changed my life, but it certainly did. And you'll hear it here in this audio clip I'm about to play for you from uh, Here It Comes by Modest Mouse off of uh, Everywhere in His Nasty Parlor Tricks. That's the name of the album. And uh, I'll go ahead and play the clip for you now. But the line that changed my life was, make a point to make no sense. And ever since I thought about that as a concept, somebody trying to make no sense, and that's their point. I don't know. I've, I wanted to become that person for a very long time. And I am now, I'd say. A lot of things that I think, a lot of things that I say, they make no sense. But that's okay. It's intentional. I'm not meant to make sense. And as silly as that sounds, that's how I feel. And here's the audio clip. Here it comes, make a point to make no sense. Well, here it comes, speak about the future in the past. Yes. Here it comes, don't look down, so what do we do? Yeah. All right, cool. So I hope you give that album a listen. Everywhere in His Nasty Parlor Tricks is the name of the album. And uh, this is a great song to listen to. It's got a nice little rhythm to it. And the lyrics are quite entertaining because they're so silly. Uh, but they have meaning. That's the crazy part. Silly and it has meaning. That pretty much sums up Modest Mouse and why I like them. Because they're silly at first glance and very impractical. But there's a lot of meaning and a lot of heart and soul that got put into the music. All right, on to the next. Coming in at number two, we have Big D in the Kids Table with the song You Lost, You're Crazy off of the album How It Goes. Arguably one of the most replayable albums on this countdown. You can play that album start to finish without skipping a song and just rock out the entire time. At least that's what I do every single time. There is not a time that I listen to that album where I am not heart pumping, screaming at the top of my lungs. I know all the lyrics and I'm very, very bad at lyrics. You don't even know. But this album is really, really worth it. And this song in particular sticks out to me because as you know, I listen to a lot of early Modest Mouse and early Modest Mouse can leave you feeling crazy. When those lyrics that Isaac sings starts to make you understand and, and they start to make sense, you're pretty much certifiably insane. And this album here, makes you feel so justified in the world. Like, you're not the one who's fucked up. It's everybody else. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice consoling feeling. Uh, Big D and the Kids Table is a ska punk band. And I will play a clip for, uh, from my favorite song, uh, which has always consoled me during the times that I feel crazy. And uh, adequately enough, the song is called You Lost Your Crazy. No more patience to be given to anyone. I don't know. It's hard for me not to get super excited about that. But give this song a listen. Give this album a listen. I, I struggled not to put them at number one. But I, I, I have a stronger connection with Modest Mouse. And I've listened to Modest Mouse more. It was close. 
All right, on to number three. Coming in at number three, we have the Slackers. They are a New York hailing reggae rock steady band that has been in the scene for about 25 years now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And they are great to listen to if you like to rock steady. I don't know if you know how to rock steady, but it's kind of like you pick up the rhythm, you dig your feet into it, and you just got to keep jamming, right? You just keep jamming to that rhythm. So that's why they call it rock steady. You dig the rhythm, you rock steady for a while, and it's good. It's it's hard to do rhythmically, uh, you know. It can become a little tiresome, and it's good. It, it's kind of challenging as a as a genre to keep something like rock steady, fresh, and new and exciting. And they just so happen to do it. That's why they've been around for so long, uh, and they've been at the top of the scene, uh, arguably the best rock steady band from America, you know. Um, and that's and that's really something to be proud of. Each one of these people have impacted the scenes, uh, the scene in a, in a really big way. They've joined other bands. They've had side projects that have been sometimes as successful as, or almost as successful as the Slackers themselves. But anyway, I just want to play a little clip from a band, uh, a song called The Nurse. It's off of Wasted Days, which is a perfect album to start listening to them on. Wasted Days. It's great. So let's play the clip. What is So that's it. That's the clip that we get to play. But um, as you can see, it's it's got a nice little tempo to it. It's toe tapping. It's uh, good dance music. Uh, I don't. I'm not a very good dancer. Even though you guys see me dance on stream all the time, it's it's hard to come up with something to dance to if you're not like following a YouTube video. But I would say that uh, this is dance hall music, and it's just it's just so good to dance to. And uh, you should go to a show if they ever play in your town. Absolutely. All right. Let's get on to the next one. Coming in at number four, we have Sonic Boom 6. This is a band from the UK, from Manchester, if I'm not mistaken. I'm likely, man. I'm likely mistaken. Uh, but this is a ska punk band that also does rock steady, electronica, and rap? Question mark? They also rap. So this is the crazy thing. Uh, I, I typically don't fall into that whole, like, bands that rap and do other things kind of category. I think it's very trite. Uh-oh. Keyword for the day, we use trite, ah! But anyway, yeah, I typically don't fall into that trap because generally that's what people do to get attention and to fall into popular, popular trends. These guys did it in a very tasteful way. They mix it right in with reggae, rock, steady, ska, punk. And this song is called Bigger Than Punk Rock because it is. This encapsulates punk rock in its essence. And it also fuses it with other genres, like the ones that I've mentioned throughout this list. It's actually quite amazing how talented these guys are. And like I said, they do electronica music too, like for realsies. They'll do remixes of their songs or just straight up uh, songs. And fun fact about Sonic Boom 6, they actually recorded one of their songs in something called Simlish, which is the language of The Sims, and they were used in a commercial for EA's The Sims 3. So Sonic Boom 6 has a little bit of notoriety compared to the rest of the bands on my list, except for Modest Mouse, because everybody's heard about them. The worst parts of them. But let me play a, a song, uh, a clip of the song for you, and we'll get on with it. Well, I remember at the party a couple years ago when I saw an MC. It ripped my mic, then it passed it to me. I learned a little lesson, he helped me to see. It's not about choosing guitar or the decks. It's doing it yourself that gets the respect. Start like a sign. Now was the time. I was ready for the beat, ready for the bass line. And boom. Now I'm in the town for the show. The punk say, oh, the boy say, bo. We said, come on, I watch the bands go. I better get a dedicated outlook, yo. And I All right. So that's a little clip of that for you. But as you can see, like, started off as, like, standard rap. Did a little punk rock. Did a little bit of rock steady ska reggae kind of thing and they all the genres are in this song so somehow they fit that into one song uh check them out i'm not even sure what album this is off of just find out and listen to them do yourself a favor because these guys are the most musically diverse of any of the artists they cover the gamut when it comes to genres so give them a listen and on to the final band Ooh. coming in at number five we have rancid now, a lot of people, I feel like, are going to give me shit about putting these guys on my list. Uh, oh, Rancid, yeah. You mean the most overname dropped punk rock band in the name of history? 
Yeah, I, I do mean that band. Because the people who are afraid of name dropping that band, or the people who are sick and tired of that band being name dropped, haven't listened to their full discography. This band has an incredible amount of internal variety between every album, they're not afraid to change up their styles, and for number one, they're made up of members of some of the founding punk rock bands such as Operation Ivy, and I'm, I don't mean like classic punk rock, I mean, you know, newer age, 80s forward kind of punk rock stuff, right? Late 80s forward kind of punk rock stuff. And uh, it's the stuff that defined our era of punk rock, along with NoFX and, you know, a bunch of other bands. So give these people some fucking respect. They've made more albums and they make music every day. They, they all have a blog. Like Tim Armstrong has a, a, a blog where he just puts out music every day. Like, what the fuck? You can't hate on that shit. These people are true artists and you need to listen to their full discography before you can talk shit. Because like I said, their amount of internal variety is through the roof. You're, we're not talking about just some regular punk rock band here, even though they're treated like that. And, you know, they're the quintessential punk rock band that everybody knows. Who cares? Just listen to good music. That's what I say. And uh, Rancid is good music. So let's hear one of my favorite songs called Young Al Capone. Uh, didn't even care to get the album name for you. Just listen to Young Al Capone. Find out where it's from. Listen to all of Rancid's albums. There are many of them. So uh, without further ado, let's hear some, some good old punk rock. All right, that's as much of that song as I'm allowed to play without getting a copyright strike. And uh, as you can see, they just melt faces and play fast and hard. And and they even have reggae and rock steady stuff. I mean, Roots Radicals, which is one of their most popular songs, mentions Desmond Decker and listening to reggae on the stoop of their apartment. So these people are not musically close-minded. And you'll see, the longer you listen to them, the more reggae they, they do, the slower they get. And a lot of ska, they experiment with a lot of like punk versions of ska. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, so give them a listen. Thank you for hearing my peace of mind. This is the final entry on the list, so I will be going now. I hope this was worth your time, and please leave a comment below to, to criticize this video and uh, let me know if it was worth your time and worth my time. Without further ado, this is Tritemare signing out. Thank you very much.